Hey guys, this is Tutorials Master, and uh, I have a tutorial for you guys. And this tutorial is how to create a heart monitor. And you know what a heart monitor is? You just it's like this. So we're gonna make something like this, and you can make it in After Effects. Um, Aaron Rabinowitz at uh, CreativeCal.net. He has a he has a tutorial for that, so you can go check that out. But I'm going to show you how to make it in a cheaper program, but you still have to buy it. It is Sony Vegas. I'm using 6.0, but you can use 5.0, 6.0, 7.0, and 8.0. But they have to be the pro version, um, because we have to mask. And the uh, platinum in Movie Studio doesn't uh, support the mask function. I'm pretty sure five has a mask and four has a mask I'm pretty sure it might not I can't say but okay let's go ahead and get started and you don't even need any footage to shoot um you just need a Sony Vegas so go to media generators and go to solid color choose red um choose red and uh, I don't want it that bright you can make it darker that's about right okay now go to the vent pan slash crop and click mask and then um, just draw a mask of what you think a heart monitor would look like so and there it doesn't have to be perfect and the reason I'm separating this part is because um, I think it's easier to work with. So, yeah. Now I'm going to draw the second part of it. Let's so just draw second part. Okay, after you're done, this looks pretty bad. But we can fix that. So go to the edit tool and just click away from it and it de de deselects it and move this point to a good spot and then move this so it'll fit inside that so you can't see it and then adjust some of the points Okay, now we'll uh, go to this and even it out. And you're probably going to want to even up this line straight across here so it'll look better. Just kind of estimate where that would be. Move this down, this down, this over, move this up. <clears throat> okay, so that okay doesn't look good. It doesn't look that good, but it'll work for this tutorial. So then you go to whatever mask first and feather it uh, about this much, about three, and then go to the other one. Go to feather type both. Now the reason it's both normally it's just in, I mean it's normally it's just a feather it doesn't ask you for in or out but in of course um, feathers it in and out feathers it out so we'll just leave it at both and three works and yeah. now okay now after that um you're pretty much done with, with creating the shape now create or er, just drag in a black solid and black's fine and drag it above it and you can either use cookie co cookie cutter or the mask i'll just use the mask and just 
draw a mask the a that size a little bit bigger than the size of the uh the shape and then feather it out a bunch six will do and then select it all and then just animate the mask so start here go forward a couple frames like let's say about here and then just move it across then go a couple more frames set another keyframe go forward now drag it back and uh... that's pretty much it so let's preview this hold on okay let's preview this well, let's slow down these keyframes a little bit um... scoot these out no 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 scoot these forward scoot all these out and scoot this one out to make the animation a little more slower. Oh, and um, select all of them, right click and um, choose smooth. And now it'll just be a smooth keyframe. So let's preview this. That's pretty good. Yep. So that's basically all you have to do. And um, of course, you could uh, blur it out. Well, it's already blurred out. You could add like a light ray or radio blur to it to make it, you know, like glow. I don't know. Just an idea. So, well, it's just your choice. But anyway, that is my tutorial. And by the way, I'll have other tutorials up. Um, I am going to do one about uh, ripping DVDs and then another one. So, they'll probably be both recorded today. So, yeah. That's all I gotta say. See you guys.